Hello, my name is Paulina Pizorno. I am postgraduate student in chemistry in Faculty of Chemistry, University of Republic, Montevideo, Uruguay. My tutors are uh, Dr. Uh, Valerie Bull and Dr. Uh, Nelly Magnay. The title of this presentation is A Medical Geology Study of Groundwater Contamination with Arsenic in an Area of Canelones, Uruguay. Let me tell you something about my country. Uruguay is a small country in South America. Its total area approximately 300,000 uh, square kilometers. We are more, more than a half of it is land. It's divided into 19 departments. Uh, the population is 3.4 million and the life expectancy is 77.9 years. The most important characteristic is that it has mild weather along the years and the landscape feature is mostly rolling plain and low hill range. The safe drinking water in Uruguay is supplied to 94% of the population by the state company OSE, but only 28% of all this water supply is obtained from groundwater sources. Water service quality is considered good with practically all localities in Uruguay receiving drinking water on continuous basis. Several laws and decrees regulate water source quality, and the state company is controlled by the Regulation Institute, URSEA. However, some rural areas don't have these official water supplies, and people make their own wells to drinking water from them, which can be properly controlled. Talking about arsenic, is this widely known that it has high toxicity? It is one of WHO's uh, 10 chemical of major public health concerns, and it is natural present in groundwater. A long term exposure to arsenic from drinking water and food can cause cancer and skin lesions. It has also been associated with cardiovascular disease and diabetes. The quality of this groundwater has been the focus of medical geology multidisciplinary research study, and arsenic is one of its main concern for its health impact in regions where arsenic level higher than to recommendation. The level of geogenic arsenic in different aquifers in world country has been reported since since uh, 2006, but three are study uh, of last time her risk in the population exposure uh, to low arsenic dose. In 2010, the maximum permitted uh, arsenic concentration level in drinking water was lower from 50 microgram per liter to 10, with a provisional level of 20 microgram per liter, while I still maintain this last level. The first study started in 2007, when it was reported an average of 16.9 uh, microgram per liter in 28 samples. They are, were 
taken in the southwest of Uruguay from different aquifers. Three, Raigon Mercedes. After uh, that, Dr. Mañay reported that a sampling in groundwater was done in 37 uh, wells dried in Raigon. The 80 percent of the, the samples exceeded the value of 10 microgram per liter of arsenic and 11 percent exceeded 20 microgram per liter that is the current limit according to Uruguayan regulation. In the last study, samples uh, were taken at random in different areas in Uruguay. The concentration range uh, found were total arsenic between 1.7 and uh, 120.5 microgram per liter. In 46 samples, where the highest level was found in Canelones department. In previous research for this specific work in Canelones, we had found different areas in the department with arsenic level above international and national regulation, between 10.4 and 68.3 microgram per liter. Given the background of the previous work, is that Canelones was selected to perform a Helrix assessment study. For that reason, the aim of this work is to investigate the association between arsenic exposure via drinking water and average health effect with multidisciplinary approach of medical research in a rural population located in San Antonio Canelones Department. Confirm and extend the observation that were available in the country with the multidisciplinary approach of medical geology. Canelones department is the is a complex department uh, owing to its unique characteristic uh, from the coast, the cities, among the largest in Uruguay, the industries to have a, to a very heterogeneous uh, rural areas where you can find from very small producers to big scale ones. The rural population in Canelones is the 10%, while in the whole uh, of Uruguay is 5%. The four step risk assessment process. Uh, the first step, Hazard identification. We question what health problems are caused by pollutants. Second step, those response assessment. What are the health problems at different exposures? Then, exposure assessment. How much of the pollutants are people exposed to during a specific time? How many people are exposed? Finally, the last step is risk characterization. What is the extra risk of health problem in the exposure popula population? First of all, I am going to talk about material and method. In the first step of the study, we studied 30 private wells in a rural area of Canelones department in Uruguay. In a second step, we managed to obtain six samples of urine to evaluate urinary arsenic in order to perform exposure assessment. We have also asked people about their habit in the use the, of the water. For example, how much matter, 
coffee or tea they drink. We have also uh, will all the information we will identify hazard exposure assessment and the risk characterization of the population selected. All the analytical determination were made with methodologies developed and validated during the thesis. Microwave uh, induced plasma optical emission spectrometer coupled with hydride generation was used for the analytic determination. Now, Let's talk about the material and metals to assess the risk of exposure in human health. It was estimated the risk associated with chronic consumption of water with high concentration of arsenic in children and adults. The health risk was estimated with exposure frequency and exposure duration. The arsenic level in water were used to calculate the average daily dose ABD. As you can see here. In the next slide, uh, we'll see chart with the description of each parameter and its numeric value. In this chart, you can see the parameters used to estimate daily average arsenic ingestion and associated health risk in adult and pediatric population. With children, we worked in two different range, age range, younger than two years old and between two and 17 years, apart from that with adults. For adults, the duration of the exposure was used based on Uruguayan life expectancy, that is 77.9. The average lifetime was calculated differently if the has non-carcinogenic and carcinogenic risk. The risk can be characterized by the following two equations. One, one hazard quotient HQ calculated. HQ equals ADD divided by RFD, which was estimated for dermatological manifestations using arsenic toxicity reference dose of 0 0.0003 milligrams kilogram per day. An HQ value higher than one indicate a high probability of adverse systemic effect from chronic ingestion of water contaminated by arsenic. And value below the threshold indicates a low probability of such effect. The second uh, equation is used to know the cancer risk using this equation. CR equal ADD by uh, CSF by ADAF was calculated using the cancer slope factor. Values between these ranges are considered to be safe. Now, let's move to results. As it is uh, shown, this is the area of the preliminary study where West were here references.
In this graph, it can be seen the levels of concentration of arsenic in private wells. The orange line shows the recommended values by OMS. Whereas the red line shows the national level that is 20 micrograms per liter. All the private drinking water well study have arsenic level higher than OAM recommendation. And 21 have level higher than 20, which indicates that only nine wells are among the accepted value in Uruguay. This Graph show the HQ for HA strata according to arsenic concentration in the drinking water. HQ value uh, higher than one for both pediatric age strata. Only two ways show it, um, arsenic level that though do not present any risk to adult population who drinking the water. This graph uh, shows the cancer risk for H, H strata according to arsenic concentration in drinking water. The cancer risk analysis indicated an elevated risk associated with arsenic exposure in all age groups. In the second part, we took samples of three wells and urine samples of six people. Two people per wells. Here you have the arsenic concentration of the three wells, and, and here have the result of arsenic in urine samples. In the blue bars, um, show arsenic level in water, and the yellow bars um, show urine arsenic level separated by sex. In this case, specific, uh, specifically, the first participant only drank the well water, whereas the other participant used the water from their everyday life, including drinking. It's necessary to continue the study to determine the level of arsenic in urine in people exposed to it. Caution and conclusions. High levels of arsenic in private, private waste water were confirmed. There may be a health risk for the exposure population. It was confirmed the presence of arsenic, inorganic arsenic in urine in people exposed through groundwater. There are not background study of arsenic risk assessment. Uh, so this may the, be the first one in Uruguay. So it's necessary to continue with them. Future action are planned. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>